Hello, welcome to SciTech Hub. Am I the only one that didn't know the sun gives us free energy every day? We all love free stuff, right? The sun showers us with free energy every single day. It's a giant, blazing ball of energy that never sends us a bill. But to use that energy, we need solar panels and batteries. Solar panels capture the sun's rays and convert them into electricity. Just like traffic needs rules, the flow of electricity needs control. That's where the charge controller comes in. It's the traffic cop for your solar energy, ensuring everything moves smoothly and safely. With a reliable charge controller, you can harness the sun's power efficiently and safely. Let's talk about the simplest type of charge controller, the pulse width modulation PWM controller. This little device is a key player in solar energy systems, ensuring that your batteries are charged efficiently and safely. It's like a traffic light controlling the flow of electricity. Imagine it as a vigilant traffic cop directing the current to where it's needed most. When the battery is low, the PWM controller acts like a green light, allowing a lot of current to flow from the solar panels. As the battery gets full, the PWM controller starts acting like a flashing yellow light, sending shorter bursts of electricity. Finally, when the battery is topped off, the PWM controller turns red, stopping the flow of electricity to prevent overcharging. The good news is that PWM controllers are usually the most affordable option, making them a popular choice for many solar enthusiasts. But there's a catch. They don't always capture all the energy the solar panels could be producing. Think of it like having a traffic light that's sometimes stuck on yellow, not using the full road. Let's upgrade to maximum PowerPoint tracking MPPT controllers. These smart controllers are just to get the most power from your solar panels. Unlike PWM controllers, MPPT controllers are more sophisticated. They find the sweet spot for maximum energy production then convert it to the right voltage and current for your batteries. Imagine a highway with sensors adjusting speed limits. That's what MPPT controllers do for your solar energy system. More power goes to your batteries, even on cloudy days. Some inverters have built-in charge controllers. They convert DC to AC for home appliances. Convenient, but if one fails, replace both. Built-in controllers may lack efficiency. Weigh the pros and cons carefully. Section 5 PWM versus MPPT5. Key differences to light your way. Let's explore the critical differences between PWM and MPPT solar charge controllers. MPPT controllers are more efficient, especially in low light. They track the maximum power point, optimizing energy harvest. PWM controllers are cheaper and simpler to install, making them ideal for smaller systems. MPPT controllers, though more complex, can handle a wider range of battery types, including lithium-ion. Understanding these differences helps you choose the right controller for your solar power system. Section 6 by the numbers, why MPPT often wins the efficiency race. MPTT controllers can make a real difference. Imagine a solar panel producing 100 watts. With PWM, you get 80 watts. With MPPT, you get 95 watts. That extra 15 watts adds up. It's like free electricity from the sun. Section 7. Picking the right controller, size matters, so does your wallet. Choose the right charge controller for your needs. Small system, tight budget. PWM controller. Larger system, MPPT controller. Cloudy or shady MPPT excels. Future expansion, MPPT handles more power.
The bright future of solar choices, smarter, efficient charge controllers are here. Connect to your smartphone for real-time data. Knowledge is power, harness the sun. Research, ask questions, make informed choices, understand charge controllers for a sustainable future. Keep those solar panels shining, science fans.